Hello everyone, and welcome back to To the Moon. In the last episode, I forgot that Dr. Roslyn, I was calling her Roslyn, his real name is Eva, and I also made the video very short because it was just the prologue. This one will be a little longer, about 20 minutes, maybe 15. Um, anyways, we found out our patient's name is Johnny, and a grown man, and now, we are going to go talk to Johnny. Go upstairs? Yeah. <clears throat> but actually, I believe the kids will come back. Yep. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. Those voices are too similar. I'm going to make the boys different. <clears throat> No fair! You pushed me! Did not. Whatever. You got the boring two notes anyways. <clears throat> I can still click the stairs. I'm not going to do that, though. <clears throat> this game's soundtrack is so freaking great. Like, I actually didn't buy the soundtrack version with this purchase, just because I only had, like, $2. But, <clears throat> I encourage anybody, get the soundtrack, it's really good. Although, don't play it in the car on a dark night, because some of the songs are lulling. <clears throat> Those kids are pretty good, for their age. Hey! You're the one who said there was no time to waste. <clears throat> and incidentally, I'm the one carrying the heavy weight of a small met meteoroid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on. I need a voice for Rosalind. Alright. I forget your name. Oh, Lily. Ready to set up? Yeah, set the machine down. <coughs> yes. It'll just be a moment. Fade to black. Written by Kanga. <laughs> when do the credits end? <laughs> <coughs> by the way, just to address a comment, um, I know a lot of YouTubers have already played this. But I love this game so much that I just wanted to do it. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries. We're the experts. <coughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Standard procedures, just, you know, on your toes. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, everyone. My throat is hurting. I will try not to cough from this point on. I drank Mountain Dew. That will help. How's he doing? I need a better voice for Rosalind, because she doesn't act like that. <clears throat> Not so well. If I were to say, he's got just a day or two left. Skylar, you know who that sounds like. <laughs> That's plenty of time. 
I like that voice better for Eva. So, you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But, we always succeed, because we're awesome. <clears throat> so, what's the wish? The moon. The moon. The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? <laughs> Don't say that right in front of them. <laughs> so, can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. <clears throat> Why don't you tell us about your client? Your client here. That, I don't really know much. Johnny is an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked for here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craft craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paper boy for Pete's sake. Shush! Just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for you two. Hmm. So be it. <clears throat> All right. Which on one of us plays detective? Uh, I'm going to be Dr. Watts. I like him better. I'll do it! <laughs> I once played Sherlock Holmes in a high school musical. There was a musical with Sherlock Holmes? <laughs> I remember you playing Watson. <laughs> Meh. Same thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just figure this. Just configure this. I got it started anyway. <clears throat> My children can show you around. They're probably downstairs at the piano. And that is our hint of where to go. And the game is being stucky. Oh, there we go. Oh wait, this isn't where we came from, is it? I'll go down here just in case. No, this isn't where we came from. Let's go take a poop. We can't take a poop. But there's something shiny here. There's something shiny. Can I not interact with the... Oh, I can't interact with the shiny. Okay, good. I'm very happy I can interact with the shiny. <clears throat> Dang it, why do I have to go all the way around you, Eva? Just push the chair in a little more. No, no. Alright, so that's Johnny. Oh, and people were commenting. Apparently a decent amount of people who watch my videos didn't know about this game and oh a painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside and apparently um 
I won't read all these descriptions. I'll just go through them real fast. And, um... A lot of you didn't see the heartbreak in this. Trust me. There are quite a few moments in this that are super... They will make you cry. Like, I'm not even kidding. By the way, all those things in the picture do come back later in the story. But, um... All of those things... Like, it, it's a very, very hard story. It asks questions, raises a bunch of debates, and just... <sighs> It is a beautiful, well-crafted story. Wait, come back here for a moment. I have something for you. Something I've never given anyone before. It's gonna be like a freaking piece of gum. Get out of my way, Lily. Get out of my way, bed. Alright, talk to me, doctor with no last name. Here. Take this. We received a remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. I hope there's no self-destruct button. Oh, that's me. I hope there's no self-destruct button. I seem to have a knack for finding those. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in the menu. Yeah, so now at any point when I go to save, I can see Johnny's heart monitor. Right, time to head downstairs. Yay, pretty music. I, um, forget the character's name, who that song is named after. Um, but she comes back. <laughs> Sarah. What you want? <laughs> that sounds like a Brooklyn axe. What you want? <laughs> hey, your ma told me you to show me around you the house. <clears throat> uh, okay. Maybe we will. <laughs> Maybe. I think we just need a little convincing. That's all. <laughs> what do you think? Look at how she's talking. It sounds like she's talking in a Brooklyn accent. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant response, Tommy. All right, let's talk. What do you punks want? We want one trillion dollars. <clears throat> or oh, the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, or that. <laughs> er, what? There is a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we cannot reach. It's in the kitchen. Ma put it there to save for when we do chores. Get it for us, and we'll give you a tour of the house. What do you say? Oh, what do you say? <laughs> well, sure, I'll go get it. <laughs> no, cut the crap and help. Um... I'm a nice guy. You're lucky I don't want to walk up the stairs again, or I'd just tell your mother. <clears throat> the kitchen's door is the right, next to the stairs. Now go! Now go! Um... I can't... Oh, yeah. It's almost like some kind of terrible quest 
to get my night started. <coughs> um, I believe it's the other stairs. I'll quickly check these stairs, though. Yeah, um, actually, this quest is completely optional. If I refuse to help them, I'm pretty sure we strike another deal with them. And they just help. This... This isn't the kitchen. Oh, okay, right next to the stairs. Here are the stairs, so this is the kitchen. I was gonna say, why is there a toilet? This isn't the kitchen. Go inside anyways? <clears throat> what the heck? Oh, I remember this part. <laughs> Eck! Almost stepped on the paint. Step on the paint, Watts. All right, let's look at the painting first, because I'm pretty sure it activates like a cutscene type dealio when you, um, huh, I guess there's nothing we can interact with in here except for the book. We can't even interact with that. This room is worthless. <coughs> This is the candy cane shelf? Dusklight, the tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie. Who emanated the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. Somebody is mocking Twilight. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright. So this wasn't the right place, so I believe we had to go talk to the kids and tell them off for giving us wrong directions. The kitchen door is right beside the stairs. Go fetch it. Ever ask your mom for a dog? Okay, is this the kitchen? Because this isn't where the stairs are. This isn't right beside the stairs. There's that candy cane. <clears throat> <laughs> Alright, I think we had to probably push this thing. <clears throat> yeah, so this is completely optional. We don't have to give them the candy game. Booyah! It's like taking candy from an inanimate, inanimate baby. <laughs> so in other words, a baby that can't fight back. What if a baby, like, kicks somebody's... What if a baby beat the crap out of somebody who stole their candy? Alright, kiddos. I was against a lot of odds back there. But I got the candy cane of destiny. It's probably a decade old and tastes like rubber, but you can use it to see the future. <laughs> that candy cane was prophesized by the gods, <clears throat> with one goal in mind, to benefit the future and all other races that may come. <laughs> Alright, where do we start? I know! There is, there's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. Er, what kind of funny room? You'll see. They're going to murder me. They're going to be bludgeon me to death with that candy cane. It's weird. <laughs> We need to get the keys, though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. 
<sighs> it's gonna make me read the Twilight stuff, isn't it? It's gonna make me read the zombie version of Twilight, where zombies smell like daisies. This is the womb. The book womb. The key is to... The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. I should give her a deeper voice. <laughs> Read passage. Uh, maybe next time. <laughs> Received key to room. The room key. The man sure knows where to hide things. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here, kids. Going on an adventure to the other room. Oh, whoa. We can open the fun- Oh, we can open the funny room in the basement now. Yes, Sarah. Yes, we can. <laughs> you deep-voiced little girl, you. This is the basement. We play hide-and-seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. Uh, no. I refuse. I'm not doing that. <laughs> wait, wait, no. No, I didn't mean to go back up the stairs. What? <laughs> Go go down the stairs. I think my hand slipped or something, guys. I didn't mean to do that. I refuse to turn on the lights. Where is the door? Where is the door? <laughs> oh, there it is. The door is locked. Open the door with the room key? It's like a cave in here. Oh yeah. Um prepare for prepare for the first of a few creepy moments in this game. Three, two, one. It's a stuffed toy platypus. What a hideous little creature. Poke it. Take it. You received a toy platypus. What would have happened if I poked it? A rabbit folded out of paper. A broken music box. And hellish music! <laughs> oh, and now the, the bad music. Did you see it? What do you kids know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There are more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Want to go see? I got the keys. <clears throat> Let me guess. You aren't supposed to go in there either. Hee hee. Hee hee. Remind me to never open, keep any locked cabinets around you two. So, when you go see the yacht house? Well, it's rather windy outside, but... Yeah, actually, this is another choice. We don't have to go to the lighthouse. I'm gonna do it. <clears throat> oh, heck with it. I'm Dr. Watts. Mere wind can't stop me. Come on, let's go. Kick some butts. Because there's a really funny moment outside. And you're going to have to see that extremely funny moment in the next video. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And I hope you guys are enjoying To the Moon. Have a good day and God bless.